Then the second center that we have is very important, which is called as the Swadhisthana. This center looks after physical and our mental activities. Perhaps the doctors don't know that it has a very important work to do is that it has to nourish the brain with new cells because all the time the brain is using these cells for its activity. So the energy has to go from this center up there, you can see, and then it nourishes the center, it uh, nourishes the brain through its activity. Now when we are very futuristic or we are using too much of a brain, I should say, too much of a brain activity we have, we are futuristic, we are planning too much, thinking too much, all the time thoughts and thoughts and thoughts, that time we are using the energy of this center. <coughs> But this center has another very important thing to be done, that it goes round as you see, it moves all round here. It's shown here directly but it's connected to the center. And it moves round and round and round and gives energy to this area where we have our liver, our pancreas, our spleen, kidney and parts of intestine. Now, if we start exhausting ourselves with too much thinking, then the main work of the center suffers and that's how we develop all these diseases of all these organs. Like, for example, with liver, you develop a liver problem. Liver problem means that liver has a function to <coughs> emit heat from your body, which is poison, into the bloodstream. But when liver gets upset, we should say, the heat re is retained in the liver. <coughs> it passes upward and downward. When it passes upward, it affects a center there, as you can see, what we call as the right heart, and people develop what we call the disease as asthma. And when it passes downwards, it reaches the kidneys and coagulates and you get kidney troubles, for which we have to go on dialysis and ultimately to die. So this heat is created because our liver is out of care. At the same time, this heat can also pass if a person, say, at a very young age drinks and puts in too much of physical efforts and is all the time busy thinking, thinking, he might get a very fatal heart attack because this heat can go towards his heart and just collapse it. Also, those people work very hard like that, can get a very massive heart attack. But the people <coughs> who have other problems on the left-hand side are different type. They are the people who have lethargic organs. These organs do not work. And when they do not work, then they have all the other problems of the left side, as we call it. And this also causes another serious problem of psychosomatic troubles. Now the essence of this center is that it is creativity. When the Kundalini nourishes this center, people become extremely creative. Now you have seen these artists who are playing here. They were very simple, ordinary artists, but after coming to Sahaja Yoga, suddenly they have bloomed so much. The most surprising thing is that people say even from Switzerland, who do not know a word of Sanskrit, who do not know a word of Hindi language, have composed poems, they have put them to tunes, and they sing as good as these people can sing. It's impossible to believe that even the English, who are so difficult to even pronounce a one, a sentence in Hindi language, are now fluently speaking Sanskrit and talking all these things. Because of this creativity improves you. We have so many artists in India who came to Sahaja Yoga, I don't know if you know their names or not, like Amjad Ali, Jalota, so many of them. They got their realization and after that, now today, they are very well-known artists. <coughs> also the paintings, we have some Australian people who became quite good artists after coming to Sahaja Yoga. So it gives you 
and sense of aesthetics and also it gives you the energy to express yourself. Now if you have the technique of how to create anything, say you want to make a house or you want to paint or if you want to do something, moldings or anything that you want to do, if you have the technique, the creativity, the power of creativity starts pouring in you and you start producing things on which you cannot even have thought of and these things happen to a person. So a person can become extremely dynamic with this. But <clears throat> if with that you do not keep your Sahaja Yoga practice means if you do not keep your connection with the Divine, then the energy gets exhausted. That's why Self-realization is very important for every artist that he should get his connection with this all-pervading power which is the combination of all the powers so that he doesn't feel exhausted with it. Not only that, but all the time the source is flowing into him. Constantly it has to flow and that's why you have to do little practice of Sahaja Yoga after getting your realization as I told you yesterday that now you don't stop at this point, you have to make the connection perfect. Without the connection, it may be that you may go down. So it's best is to keep your connection on and work it out, to give full respect to yourself, to your being. You are not an ordinary thing. You are not a chicken or something like that. You are a human being. And the beauty that is within you is to be discovered, is to be nourished and to be proud of. It is such a great thing you have within yourself, the powers, which I'll tell you one by one. <coughs> now about that is the 